Heather. If this is your first time going to PVX, I'm going to be walking you through some of my favorite trips and tricks of traveling to Vegas and also attending Photo Booth Expo. I am actually flying in from Ottawa and if you are Canadian as well, then there's a couple of things that you guys need to keep in mind. One, you will need to probably get a COVID test before you depart within 72 hours, but please make sure to check your government website to make sure that the um, updates haven't changed because I am recording this video in November and PBX isn't until February. So make sure that you know that you have to have both your vaccines in order to travel as well as a negative COVID test. Also make sure that you arrive at the airport really early because travel is just not the same right now. I'm currently sitting here after a three hour delay on my way to Vegas for another show. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I wish I knew the first time I went to PBX. While I make my way to Vegas on a plane, why don't I take this time to tell you a little bit about Photo Booth Expo. Photo Booth Expo, or PBX as we like to call it, is an annual show for all things Photo Booth related. Education and hardware are all rolled up into one. If you're thinking about getting into the photo booth business, have been in the business for a few years, or are a veteran, there's something there for everyone. This is where new and innovative products in the photo booth world are launched, and it's where you get to hear and meet industry leaders. It's where you get to chat with vendors face to face that you often wouldn't be able to. And most importantly, it's where you get to network, which in my opinion is the best part. People come from all around the world and you'll see vendors there from South Africa, Russia, Canada, and of course, across the US. So if you're wondering if you should go, then the answer is gonna be a hard yes. It has been 20 hours, literally, that I've been traveling, but I'm finally here. Uh, so there's a couple ways that you can get to your hotel. You can rent a car, you can Uber, and there's a shuttle. I'm sure there's other ways, but those are the top three that I can think of right now. So the South Point does offer a shuttle and I will link that below. But I generally like to take an Uber because I'm not really a fan of waiting. But if you don't want to pay for an Uber, then you can just take the shuttle. So that's what I'm going to go do now. I'm going to go catch an Uber, go to my hotel room. And I will jump back in tomorrow morning and give you guys a lot more information. Good night. My first tip as a veteran PBXer is to make sure that you arrive a day before the expo starts and don't leave until the day after the expo ends. The biggest mistake I see is people leaving on the last day and then they miss out on the epic closing party. This is honestly one of the best parties for the photo booth industry with live music, drinks, and it's usually sponsored by somebody. So you don't want to miss this one because it's where you get to network the most. To stay or not to stay at South Point? Well, my advice is going to be stay at South Point. It's where all the events and conventions happen. And South Point is pretty far away from the Strip. So if you choose to stay on the Strip and Uber to the South Point every day, it's going to cost you a lot. At peak times, I've seen it be $40 to $60 one way. And while South Point might not be the most luxurious hotel and may reek of cigarettes, it does have a few good things going for it. First off, the food on site is pretty damn good and the prices are decent. I love the breakfast buffet personally as there's always something really good and it's affordable. If you happen to rent a car, then South Point has one great feature of ample free parking. It's one of the only hotels with free parking. Just to give you guys a little bit of an idea, um, from the front entrance, it takes about three and a half minutes to actually walk to the convention center. It's a walk and <laughs> you're gonna have to do it a few times in the day. Um, classes run all day long. The trade show floor runs all day long. You're gonna be jumping back and forth between different locations. So wear comfortable shoes, very comfortable shoes. Um, you're also going to want to bring water. I generally like to go to Target or Walgreens beforehand and get some granola bars and coffee pods because pretty much everyone has Keurig machines in the room and lots of bottled water because it is so expensive here at the hotel. So make sure you stock up before you get here. Should you attend the trade show or should you go to classes? Well, I think you should do both. Everyone should be going there for education as well as to see the trade show. So make sure that you pack comfortable shoes because you are going to be doing a lot of walking back and forth. And of course, you don't want to miss my class, which happens to be Niche Now, Rich Later. And we'll be talking all about niching your photo booth business to make you more money. Turnout generally tends to be pretty great for my events. Just saying.
And if you don't happen to be able to catch my class, you can always find me at the Photo Booth Supply Co. trade show booth. So please do come and say hi, come check out the gear. And I would love to hear whether or not this video is helpful for you. If you're looking for any more tips and tricks, just let me know.